where a couple guys were um, murdered. I do have to read you your rights. You know, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You do have an attorney, like we talked about, to be with you prior to and during any questioning. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you free of charge by the state of uh, San Andreas. Do you understand these rights? Absolutely. All right. Now, that lawyer that they're bringing in is probably provided by the uh, the motorcycle club, right? The LMC? He represents us, yes. All right. Well, let me tell you, man. I'm just going to tell you what we have on you. So we have your motorcycle that was impounded from that traffic stop uh, the other night. And we had forensics look at the tire tracks and the tire tracks with the, uh, the micro differences in production and the wear and all that are a match to one of the tire tracks at the scene. Now, I know that you told us that um, you were not in Grapeseed that day, but we actually have footage of you up in Grapeseed that day, and now we, we now have your bike at the house. If that lawyer from the DLMC comes in here and you invoke your right to counsel and don't say anything, right, this is our there's a chance you're going to go down for this thing, you know what I mean? I if I were you, if you want a lawyer, um, that's fine, but, anyway, but I would get one that represents your rights, not the motorcycle club, so that you don't go down to protect them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a family, you know. The only I, I get got. it, man. I get it, but you know, when you're doing life in prison to protect those guys, is that worth it? Because we have you, man. We got the tire prints. We got everything. We put you there. You lied about being up in grape seed that day. We got you. But if you want to tell us what happened and cut a deal, we're open to that. That way, you don't spend the rest of your life in prison for first degree murder and arson. You know what I mean? But of course, if their lawyer comes in here, he's going to tell you to just stay quiet, and then you go down for all of this. You know what I mean? So you know that's the motorcycle club lawyer. If you want a lawyer, I'm good with that. But you know you want to you want to get a lawyer that has your interests. You know if you're spending the rest of your life in prison just to protect those guys, that doesn't make any sense, right? It's also a public defender. Yeah, you got to question the quality of that. It's apparent to me, at least, if you ask me that. You know, best interests aren't in mind if they just went and got a public defender. Yeah. I mean, they just want you to stay quiet, you know what I mean? No, not really. No, I don't, I don't really know what you mean. What I mean is, you use the lawyer they bring, he tells you to be quiet, you go to prison for the rest of your life. You get your own lawyer that cares about you, you cut a deal, you don't spend the rest of your life in prison. So how's it just so happen? What, what's this micro differences? What do you, what do you mean? Like, sure, that, so, that it's just... so when something is made in a factory, whether it's a toy, a tire, anything. Even though the machines are very specific, they make tiny little differences. You know, the treads will be, you know, maybe a millimeter different in width, or maybe it'll have a little speck here that another one didn't have. And our forensic teams can look at those micro differences kind of like a fingerprint and put a specific tire at a murder scene. And yours just happens to have the exact differences is the tracks we recovered from the murder scene. So that's how we put you there. Interesting. So, like I said, if you want a lawyer, I get it, man. But we're trying to work with you so that you don't have to spend the rest of your life in prison. Obviously, you didn't orchestrate that whole murder yourself, right? Other people were involved. So if you work with us and tell us what happened, 
we're more than happy to cut a deal with you with the DA for your cooperation so that you don't spend the rest of your life in prison for those guys. You know what I mean? And the other thing, too, is how do they know that you didn't talk? I mean, if you decide you don't want to talk, then what's stopping them from thinking that you did and that you told them you didn't? out here for your benefit. Definitely a lot to think about. A damn son of a bitch. It's a lot. It's a lot that you got to look out for number one, and that's you. Those guys don't. They don't care at the end of the day. They just want to protect themselves, you know? They didn't, they, personally, I talked to them upstairs. They don't care about your well-being. They, they even just got a public defender out on the street. They didn't even go to a firm. And bottom line is this, man. So if they tell you not to talk to us, which they're going to, they want to protect themselves. That's what their public defender is going to say. We have enough, man. We have you at the scene. We have your tire tracks there. We have you lying about being in Grapeseed. We have the footage of you in Grapeseed. You're going down for this murder, man. It's first degree with arson. Truly, the question is, is that, like, even with all that information, all that stacked against you, do you want to be the only one going down for this full force? Or do you want to help us out and get the other people who are actually involved who wanted to do this? Motherfuckers. Hmm? Thinking inside my head here. That's okay, man. You just you let us know. Think it over, let us know. is not liking me right now. Yeah, they can be a little fickle. I'll tell you what, I definitely didn't murder nobody. Don't, right. don't be the one to take the fall for it. Then them, yeah, them bringing their lawyer in, telling you to shut up and not say anything isn't going to help your case. You could actually tell us what happened and who the murderers were, you know, if you cooperate with us. You know, if you really were innocent, your bike was there for another reason, and it was one of the other guys, we want to hear about it, man. That way we can get you back on the streets and get whoever's responsible. Son of a bitch. Okay. Let me light up another cigarette. All right. But before you talk to us, you know, you do have to acknowledge that you understood your rights and that you wish to talk to us without an attorney present. I hear you. All 
Alright. I don't know who. But I understand my rights. I'm gonna do this without the presence of the council. Okay. Well, tell us what happened. Well, I don't know who. I had overheard some of the guys out of... Some of the guys that have lost, lost MC, had some beef with each other. With it within each other. Okay? Lost on lost. Basically, because okay. there was some you know, there's some shit because of the fact that our club was moved down to the uh what was their I guess their apparent used to be area. Like their their turf, if you will. Yeah, you guys got that new clubhouse in Stab City, right? Yeah. All right. So, but apparently, a couple of them, you know, were, you know, I heard they were a couple of them like talking some sh like shit about us. We had some kind of rat, you know, within our club. Something about messages or something like that in between. I don't know where these came from or who has them. But apparently it was some kind of like up to out to like out to get us or they were trying to basically just sabotage that place or something. I don't know. Okay. Long story short. Uh, at matter as a matter of fact, I was in Grape Seat. I was down there checking out a couple places. The one I live. Happen to roll up on where that before anyone arrived. And that's probably why you notice that's there. That looks bad. So you're saying you came after they were shot and after the house was on fire? I took off because I'm not going to... I mean, I could have reported that, yeah. So what were you up in Grapeseed looking at? A couple houses. To buy? Uh, possibly. Okay. Looking who's to expand your... a little business, maybe. Who's your Who's your realtor? Oh, I didn't go... Th I wasn't going through any realtor. I was just scoping out. So you're just showing up at these houses without a listing appointment or anything? No, I'm just driving by them. I was on my bike. Just driving by. Okay, so you're yeah, driving. Well, yeah, well, you happened to see a house on fire mm -hmm. and drove all the way up on the property? That doesn't make sense. I can say I like to, you know, I, when I see a fire, I'm kind of wondering what's going on. Yeah, Mr. James, we're trying to help you here, you know. You contending that you came after the fire had started, drove up on the driveway next to the fire, to the back of the house next to the fire, just to check it out, and then left. Does that sound believable to you? Makes no sense. Well, what more do you want from me, man? I, you know, I, I ain't got much. We'd like your cooperation. You know, there were there were multiple tracks at the scene. Obviously, at least four motorcycles, ballistics on two different guns there. So obviously, two shooters. We have a stabbing victim. Tell us what happened. Tell us who was involved, who shot, who stabbed, why you guys knocked him off, and we're gonna work with the DA to make sure you don't spend the rest of your time in prison for cooperating with us. Well, for one thing, they come, they come, they come, uh, they come by us. So, yeah, there was, there was the rest of us there. They happened to meet up there. Who happened to meet up there? I 
couple of the prospects. Okay, so you met up with some of the prospects up in Grapeseed. Mm-hmm. For what? What were you guys meeting up for? Some drinks there. There's a bar. All right. And to go talk to those lost guys? And this was after looking at the houses. Okay. So you were by yourself looking at houses. Met yeah, up just driving by. I like I like driving through Grapeseed sometimes. It doesn't get a lot of love. And then you and Prospects went to the uh, Lost House, right? We wanted to talk with them and see what the kind of beef was. What was up with everything? Okay, then what happened? Before all that, they ran they ran by us, and yeah, yeah, we uh, you no, know, we chase we 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 chased them down. Okay. They were trying to cause a little like issues with us. Now, as far as oh. like being knocked off. I so didn't they see were anything the aggressors, like that. basically. They you were the aggressors. Their house, and they ran up on you guys. Right. So they okay. they they started the whole nonsense. All right. So what happened? They pulled guns on you guys, or what? I remember one of them pulling a knife. I don't remember any guns. Okay. Because before all that happened, I I. So were you one of the shooters? Is that why your gun's missing now? Sorry, what? What was your question? So your gun's missing now, so you were one of the shooters, right? Of those lost guys? I didn't have my gun. Okay, well then, which guy shot him? See, that's the thing I don't know, because I had taken off after I seen the knife. I got, I got a little freaked out over that. So one of the lost guys pulled a knife, mm -hmm. and you ran and left your other DLMC buddies there. Yeah, let's go. I scooted out. You expect us to believe you would leave your DLMC buddies there? A couple of prospects, yeah, they're expendable. All right. right so which one shot? Out. I'm sure they told you after. Hmm. Which one of the prospects? I'm not so sure. It might have been James. Well, what what did they say after? What did James tell you? He don't really talk much to me. So you guys went to a house where somebody pulled a knife on you. They shot those guys. You guys just never talked about it later? Things aren't really... Uh... Some things aren't really talked about. I don't know if he would have done that or why or, you know, to kind of keep that to himself. I'm not sure. He's kind of weird. So you expect us to believe that whenever you guys have a run-in with a different crew, you don't talk about it after? Hell yeah, I expect you to believe that because it's the goddamn truth. Well, listen, so now we have you at the scene at the time of the murder. If you don't give us these other guys, what do you think the DA is going to do with this? You're now at the scene of the murder. Your tire tracks are there. Those guys wound up dead. Your gun is missing. No DA is going to decline to prosecute that. You've got to tell us who it was so we can get the right guys if you don't want to go down for this thing. And pretty sure there's more than just prospects at that scene. And in all honesty, I think a DA will rather prosecute somebody more higher up than just prospects. Yeah, I want my attorney. Okay, do you want your attorney, or do you want that DLMC attorney that's upstairs? I want that attorney upstairs. Go get that guy. Okay, that's fine. Actually, you know what? I think we have enough. Yeah. 
at this time, you are being placed under the arrest for the homicide and the arson. We're not going to be uh, taking anybody else in custody. We don't have any evidence on anybody else, so there won't be any questioning. You're free to talk to your attorney after booking's process. Do you okay? Fucking bullshit. Well, you don't want to help us anymore. We can't help you anymore. Does that make sense? Whatever. All right. Your attorney will be in to visit with you, okay? Yep. 